Hey everyone, hope you're having an awesome day today and thanks for tuning in to another Vintage Pokey Openings video, a YouTube channel that centers around opening sealed Pokemon products from the Wizards of the Coast trading card game era. Well, I've got a good video for you folks today. I wanted to show you about a purchase that I recently made. As you can see here, I bought two long foil fossil packs, a long foil, uh, excuse me, two long foil jungle packs, a long foil fossil pack, two Japanese gym challenge packs, and a Japanese Neo Discovery pack, or as they called it in Japan, uh, Neo 2. So I did not purchase these booster packs on eBay, which is where I bought a lot of my Pokemon products from over the course of the past couple months. I actually bought this in a local purchase. I found the person on Facebook Marketplace and he had quite the inventory of booster packs available. Um, the one thing that stuck out to me is he was selling a lot of long foils, which for those of you who are familiar with that, long foils came in a box and were sent to retailers with the purpose of hanging them on um, I guess racks at the store, as opposed to the short foil booster packs, which you've probably seen before, were included in booster boxes, and therefore those are more easily weighed than long foil packs are. So the fact that I knew these weren't gonna be weighed, or at least if you did try to weigh them, it wasn't a guarantee of having a hollow or not, that was really appealing to me. Um, for these six booster packs, I paid $500 on the head. Didn't have to pay shipping and handling, didn't have to pay sales tax. Considering all of them are long foils, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, so I pulled the trigger on it and I'm hoping to get at least two hollows as I open these here, three, four, or even more would be awesome. But you never know, that's the fun of opening. So I wanted to share this with you folks today and we'll see what we pull. So in today's video, I am actually gonna go ahead and open just the English booster packs. I'm gonna save the Japanese booster packs for another video and we'll take a look at those. But today we're just gonna go through the English Watsi packs that I have here. Once again, we have two jungle long foils. We have one fossil long foil. Um, in terms of the fossil set, uh, I personally prefer jungle. So that's why I only bought one of the fossil boosters and I bought two of the jungle boosters. As you can see, we've got the Zapdos artwork here. Uh, in terms of the fossil pack, obviously I'd love to pull a Dragonite out of this or any of the three legendary birds. Specifically Moltres would be awesome. Uh, I'd say that uh, maybe Articuno or Moltres are my favorite legendary birds. Not a huge Zapdos guy, but I would still take it. Um, so any of those hollows would be awesome. As you can see, we still got the sticker on here from when these were purchased, who knows how long ago, about 20 years ago, $4.99. It's amazing to think that these booster packs have gone from $4.99 in 1999 to uh, well over $100 in 2020. That just shows you how collectibles can appreciate over the course of their lifetime. So I find that really interesting. In terms of the jungle long foils, I bought two of these because like I said, I like the jungle set a little bit better. As you can see, I went with the Flareon and Scyther artworks. Um, I've been looking to pull a holographic Pidgeot out of uh, jungle for a while now, so I really like to pull one of those. Um, but if I wasn't able to pull a holographic Pidgeot, I'd also be fine with a Snorlax or any of the three Eevee evolutions. There's a lot of really great hollows in jungle, so I think we'll go ahead and open these up today and see what we can find. As I mentioned, I didn't I didn't even bother weighing any of these um, because like I mentioned with the long foil on them, it's a little bit tougher to really know if it's a true heavy pack or not. So we're just gonna go ahead and open them up and see what we get. Um, the buyer, or excuse me, the seller did give me the option of choosing which artworks I wanted. So, I mean, I knew he wasn't trying to sell me the lightest packs or anything along those lines. Um, he seemed like an honest guy and uh, he obviously let me choose the artwork that I wanted to. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what we can do. We could end up with zero hollows. We could end up with three. I really don't know. So we're about to find out. And once again, I don't remember exactly which card in the set is the hollow, how, how, how many cards in is the hollow. So we're just going to open it as is. Trying to preserve the pack as best as possible, but that can be a little bit difficult sometimes. All right. And if you hear some jingling in the background, that would be my puppy Luna coming to join us. All right. So the first card we have here is an Ammonite, an Energy Search Trainer, a Tentacool, a Psyduck, a Slowpoke, a Geodude, a Horsey, 
Oh, and there we have our rare of the pack. It is not a hollow. It is a ditto, a non-hollow ditto. We also have a Cedra, and we have a Tentacruel. That's a cool artwork there. And then lastly, we have a Weezing, so an uncommon to end the pack. So we weren't able to pull a hollow there. We did get a rare ditto, however. I'd probably, well, I'd always rather pull a holographic, but in terms of ditto, not one of the more sought after holographics in the set. So if I had to pull it, I guess if it's a rare, I'm okay with it. So you can see there, looks like the centering isn't awesome on it. I mean, it's, it's okay. So once again, probably rather pull a hollow with better centering. Let's check the back. It also has a little white nick up the top left-hand corner, as you can see. So I guess if I had to pull um, a non-hollow, I'm okay with it being that. So that was our first set. That was the Fossil Booster. We're gonna take a look at the next booster now, which is a Jungle Pack with the Scyther artwork. I wouldn't mind pulling a Scyther out of this pack, frankly, that'd be really cool. So we're 0 for 1 on hollows thus far. Let's see, maybe we can get a little bit luckier with the Jungle Pack. I kind of destroyed that, <laughs> that foil there. All right, so we've got a Paris, a Sparrow, a Goldine, Pikachu, always nice to pull a Pikachu out of a pack, a Bellsprout, a Rhyhorn, a Jigglypuff. Oh, and there we go, we've got a Pinsir. So another non-hollow. As you can see, we've got a Pinsir there. That's our rare. And then we have a Lickitung, uncommon, and a Primeape, uncommon. And then we have a Fero. So did not pull a hollow out of that pack either. However, we did get a rare pincer. Maybe we'll have a little bit more luck with our last pack here. is a Flareon artwork. Oh boy, this one's a little harder to open. Okay. So we have a Goldeen, an Oddish, an Execute, a Rhyhorn, a Cubone, a Nidoran, a Spiro. Oh, and look at that. We only pulled one hollow out of the three packs, but it's probably the best one you could possibly pull. We've got a Snorlax. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and set these down so I can put this in a penny sleeve quick. The centering looks to be pretty good, but if you look at the bottom, you might be able to see there's some silvering along the bottom. I don't really know how that would affect its grading at PSA, but overall the centering on the front is pretty good. I don't see any print lines or scratches when looking at it up close. It does have the jungle symbol there. So as you may remember, some of these, um, some of these packs had, were missing the jungle symbol. Um, this one does not. And on the back, centering looks pretty decent. Not perfect, but decent. And I don't see any scratches or anything weird. Looks like, no, I thought maybe I saw a little scratch there, but I don't think so. Awesome. Well, like I said, I mean, if we were gonna pull one hollow in the jungle set, this is probably the most valuable. So that's awesome to see. Well, once again, thanks for checking those three boosters out with me. Make sure to check out my next video in which I'm gonna be opening up the Japanese booster packs for Gym Challenge and Neo Discovery. Thanks again for tuning in.